Halo Bay. It's going to be a quick little clip, but welcome back to a brand episode of Divine Energy Plus. Um, today, we're going to be doing something cool. Um, bedrock Malls exist. I didn't remember about this, but Bedrock Malls only need uh, Bedrock Chunks and a stick. There's also the Bedrock Sword, which has 14 attack damage, 1 damage less than this. Actually, this actually doesn't any damage less. This is actually a slightly faster, the Maul is slightly faster, and it's also infinite uses. This one's not, sorry. They are the same amount of damage. But if we look at the Corrupted Maul, I was looking at last episode. In fact, I'm going to save this. The Corrupted Maul, right, does do, 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 do 13 attack damage, same speed also. And it's not infinite uses. So, okay. This Bedrock, you can't mind Bedrock. How do we get Bedrock chunks? Obsidian and Rupee Blocks for three chunks. Well, what, what do you know? We got a good amount of Rupee. We can spare two Rupee Blocks to make, um, what is it? A few chunks. And then just make a Bedrock Sword out of it. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Um, it's technically not better than the Sand Slash, but it is better than Blood Gem by 5 attack damage. So there's other Bedrock tools, I guess. There's like the Bedrock Armor set, which is pretty good if we... Uh, explosion Protection, Full Protection, Fire Protection. So for the full set perks, um, it's actually a pretty good set of armor compared to Diamond. And all the Bedrock tools have infinite uses, but I figured the Sword is the one we're going to want right now because, again, the Sword is really good. Um, Rupee... Again, we're not doing too good on Rupee. Rupee's like the rarest of the uh, Divine Rupee Jewelers, but oh well. Uh, we want to look into armor as well, in terms of like Divine Rupee, but there's a lot of Divine Rupee armor sets. We can really just look into what can Rupee do for us, in terms of armor, and it's basically shields and just the, the plain old Rupee armor set. Right, which is 85% melee damage reduction. Pretty good, but we don't have enough for a full uh, set of that. The uh, green Rupee is not the same. Uh, we can also look into Arlemite. I thought there was Arlemite there for a second. I was like, that's that's just colored uh, Rupee armor. Arlemite is um, range damage protection, which isn't as good. It'd actually be pretty good in Dravite, but it's also just a pretty good set of armor. Seven on the chest plate, whereas Diamond does on its chest plate eight. So this guy is not as good as Diamond. What's Rupee? Is Rupee also seven? Rupee is eight. So it's actually just as good as Diamond. So we want to probably get a set of Rupee armor. Realmite is um, six so yeah we want to well i guess then our might seem better what i have and then there's also elite realm might which how much realm might do we have because that's 95 which means yeah we can't get the full set bonus off but we could go for an elite realm might chest plate get it and with that elite realm might that gives us no fall damage really hmm yeah the, the early game armors don't have the best full set bonuses but so, okay, we want Rupee. That's what we want. I guess I'm going to be back down in the mines getting more Rupees just for, for everything, but I figured I'd mention what we want here because this this is a pretty good sword that we can get relatively cheaply. We spent a good amount of Rupee on it, but again, Rupee is not the most rare thing. It's just a rare thing that's kind of hard to get our hands on when we need to. So, yeah, I figured I'd mention that. I should also mention quickly that this has been going crazy. I'm on a second Nickel Gear now, and we're getting a lot of stuff out of this, and we still have a lot more of this to go through, so... Yeah, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing in this episode, but I did want to get this Bedrock Mall because, oh yeah, it's nice. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. I want to sleep off the night. I can't. So we're going to get a torch. It's called a, um, a Mega Torch, right? We're going to make one of these. These guys are a little expensive, but we can make one. Um, it's going to cost us two diamonds in the end and a lot of gold. And with this guy, if we go and we put this on our base anywhere... I'll probably put it in the center right here. Right, what it does is basically it makes it so that mobs can't spawn anywhere within a certain radius of our base. So that's nice. What I'm also going to do, the the side note to that is making a feral flare lantern. Right, which is another nice little artifact we can get. Oh, uh, we can really shove this anywhere. In fact, where I might shove it is if I go down here. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll place that back there. And I'll put down the feral flare lantern right there. And what this will do is this basically sees any dark spot within its radius, and it basically puts an invisible light there. So, that's what I'm having it do. So, that that's good. That's good. So now, any, you know, basically we're seeing actually lights being put up outside, thus pushing mobs back from our base because they can't spawn near our base anymore. Or either that, the fact that it's light out there because of the Parafoil Lantern or because of the Mega Torch. So now if I wanted to go to sleep, I probably could, as long as that zombie were to walk away. Okay, another side note, we need to get food. Um, so there's a few ways we can do this. 
we could either make an actual farm or we could do botany pots. Um, I think that we have only that much clay and um, how much? Yeah, how much? And then we're gonna have a terracotta. Yeah, we have no terracotta, so probably a flower pot. We might have a flower pot, but yeah, no. So I think our best bet is to not do botany pots right now. We can go back to that later. For now, our best bet is actually probably make an actual farm. We're gonna need a hoe. And we have a few different options for hoes. We can go with like a roll by hoe. Oh, we should just go with like a um Yeah, Ruby, Sapphire, Green Sapphire, Amethyst. Uh well, let's see what we got here. Ruby. 23 of those. Sapphire. And Amethyst. Yeah, that looks like we, we want to make probably a Ruby Hoe. Because it's just what we have the most of. Resource-wise. So we make a Ruby Ho. I ho. We figure out what we want to plant in that farm. It's going to be uh probably Wheat, uh, potatoes, we have carrots. We do have got carrots. We don't have a lot of carrots though. And what's something else we can plant around? It? Do we have beet? We don't have beetroot seeds, really. Let's sort of seeds. We got pumpkin. We got rice, bell pepper, peanut, corn, spinach, radish, cabbage, eggplant, or sardi root, or sardi, sardi root, onion, bar barley, amaranth, green bean, flax, strawberry, tomato, tomato. Oh, two different kinds of tomato seeds. One from Thermal, one from Farmer's Delight. Uh, let's probably go with rice. Because I believe we can turn rice into... Yeah, rice. Can rice... You do sushi rolls and stuff with it with, with fish. So I'm assuming this is an actual... F Actually, it might not be an actual food. So let's not do that. Because it might only grow into food. We want something that is a food. Like corn. Corn is a food. You can eat corn. Because we want to be able to do something cool with it in a second. In fact, what we might want to do is we might want to grab ourselves some bone meal if we can. And we can get that from just turning bone blocks into bone meal. Right? And here's what we'll do, right? We'll go somewhere in front of our... Actually, we'll probably to the side of our house. There's a creeper over here. Not fam. Um, right here. Yeah, centered. We'll do... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, right? So this is gonna be a maximum, you know, farm for that one piece of water we have there, right? Cool. So here's how we're gonna lay this out then, right? I'm gonna go with one more row. Yeah, so we can shove that back up in there i guess as well actually i might want to hold on to this in case i can like, trample any land we're gonna get wheat that was not what i wanted to throw in there we're gonna get wheat and we're gonna do it like this and continue like this right and this corner is going to be for wheat right this corner is going to be for potatoes so we want to so we did so okay we did it like that which means this would be potato Right? We gotta make sure that everything gets an equal amount of side on the, um, on that dude. So, here it would be like this. And then, of course, corn would be like this. Actually, we want probably just to do a little bit more in terms of carrot in particular. Right? Because now we can just do some, like, this for carrot. And for corn, too, we probably want to do something like that. Okay, cool. That gets us a lot of corn seeds, actually, so we're, we're good on corn seeds now. Yeah, so we want to continue doing that on carrot in particular, then. Good, so now... Do that. Cool, and we probably want to get ourselves some potatoes. Some of that, some of this. Oh, and get us some actual wheat as well. Um, okay, cool. So, here is what I want to show off here, though, right? We have a mod in this pack called Culinary... Okay, Culinary Construct, which allows us to make a culinary station, which is going to require a workbench. And that, cool. And I, I showed this off in Direwolf as well, but throw that down. We actually do a bread on us, so I guess I actually technically didn't need the wheat. But we get stuff like potatoes. Do we have 
Who cares? Yeah, cool. So we could do some like throw in the bread in there, throw that in there, that, 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 and we get, you know, a pretty good sandwich actually, all things considered. Probably gonna wanna like bring this down to technically nine because it's all we have in terms of corn, but heals a good amount of hunger and it's good for us. So cool, we got like, a little bit of a better food source and we actually technically made our bread last longer with just a little bit of bone meal. And now they'll actually grow, you know, naturally too. So it's, you know, not going to be, you know, something that, you know, just doesn't get like that. It's going to grow naturally, but we're probably going to want to chunk load it. So we'll, we'll chunk load it to be safe. And that is good. You know, we got food growing now. It's kind of out of the way for us because we don't really go over there that often, but figured that we might as well definitely make use of it when we can because food, food good. Um, I've also been like wrecking my sand slash. I'm not chuck it on there for now. We're gonna have to find another ancient entity at some point in the near future. Um also have to go mining. But I figured getting a little farm set up quick would be good. Uh we're also gonna have to go kill those corrupted Dramacricks, which Bedrock Mall will be helpful for that. So normally I just go down and if they've spawned, they'll just be down here. So I go down, right? And I actually even found a cave clops down here the last time I went down here too. But sometimes I'll see one of those, you know, Guys that drop the, the Realmite ingots. And normally I'll see a, you know, Drama Creek or something down this way. Sometimes I'll see a Cave Clops. Oh, there's a Robotech down there. And there's a Corrupted Drama Creek who spawned in. Actually, looks like there's a bunch of, there's a couple of Robotechs. Those guys are a little bit easier to kill when they drop a diamond, right? So, Drama Creeks. Actually, those hurt a little bit. Oh boy. And sometimes if I'm not doing too hot, I'll fly up. Get somewhere just a little bit safe. Out and kind of camp it, but um, I mean, this is they're kind of in a spot right now where they can't even fight back. But if I was getting really bad, I could get on my Cyclops staff and be like, boom, 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 just ping him till he's dead, you know? It's not really the, you know, probably the most honorable way. If you want to say anything I do is really honorable, <laughs> take him out. And there's another one down there. I want to get like a quick little hit off on him before we begin combat. I could do this rushing in and. Again, it doesn't do a lot of damage to them. Holy heck. But it does a little bit. And uh, now I just gotta rinse and repeat. I gotta go back up and, you know, let them get time to respawn. Sometimes when I'm going back up, I'll see another cave crawler. The guy, again, the guy that dropped diamonds. I'll be able to kill one of them on the way up because they can spawn a little bit higher. But these uh, drama tricks can only spawn under uh, 14, I think, is the Y level. So 11 is like the best level for diamonds. Uh, the cave crawlers can spawn a little bit higher. But yeah, cool. That's how that's going right now, I guess. And I'm flying out of the mines slowly. I need a better, better, better jetpack too, because this jetpack is kind of not amazing at all. Uh, we got two K Clops here. They are actually not uh, as friendly as their. Oh, oh my gosh, their overall counterparts. Yeah, they, they do damage. Um, they they throw projectiles and they hurt. Um, yeah, that's. I only had to deal with one of them before, and I was able to actually get drop on pretty quick with Sand Slash. So, see if I can get a uh hit on them. Yeah, I wish I can re regen health a little bit faster because yeah, I'm not regening health at a very good speed. Oh, he's dead. But the Cyclops that's actually really good. I want to get a better range weapon, but I don't know where to even search for that right now. Probably like a bow or a phaser or even a gun. That's better. So what do they drop? Do they drop uh, pickaxes? Golden pickaxes, that's not all that good. And there's a cave crawler there. I thought it was a Rotec, but... Dolmate or diamonds are both really good, so... Basically free. Free loot. Oh my god, that's a lot of Dolmate. And the spiders are gone. Cool, so what I do now is I'm just gonna keep on going. You know, mining out. Seeing what I can find out this way. Rand Knight or whatever it be. Okay, so I'm looking to options to go forward with the Divine RPG. And our options aren't great. Realistically, I want to get a better range weapon than the Cyclops seems to have. And while it's great, it's just that it's not very hard hitting. Um, we don't really have a good option for a range weapon until we get into phasers or slicers, which slicers aren't renewable. At least phasers are, but you know, uh, in terms of like infinite ammo, Cyclops staff is kind of like the best option we got right now until it breaks. And they're really easy to get a new one. So I think we're kind of stuck. Um, there are cannons that the MRG adds, like the the crab claw cannon and the bowhead cannon, but they're not, you know, they have cactus and ammo and they have a thousand uses each. Not hard to make, it's just that 
Aquatic ingots are going to require pure aquatic pellets, which are going to require space to farm crabs. And they only spawn as often as they used to. There's also whale fins and aquatic ingots, but still, that requires us to hunt crabs either way. So, we could go back over here. We know there's whales down here, and maybe crabs, and we can fight them. Or, we can just deal with the this for now. Also, I really don't want, at least right now, to fight the Watcher, because the Watcher requires us to go to the nether and get these fire... Essence or whatever, not Fury Fire, whatever it's called, for the, um, Call of the Watcher. What's it called? Yeah, we need to get these Molten Shards, and they are a pain to get. Um, I feel like they're supposed to drop from Hellpigs, but they don't. So, it's basically respect to Wildfires, and these spiders and Wildfires are, like, impossible to kill, because, again, they have a lot of hit points, and they survive to fire, and there's the, um... The fire spiders are also kind of beefy, so we're basically stuck with the mysterious clock for the ancient entity. So, we could also do the horde horn, but we haven't been to the end yet, so. Yeah, that's that's kind of a locked off to us, too. So, I might as well just say, let's just do three more corrupted stones. Make another, oh, I guess we're going to need to make a, um, tour date chunk. We're going to need to figure out when we're going to run a tour date as well. And, uh. Or I have to go to the nether to replenish that. And we can make ourselves another mysterious clock. And then, basically, you know, we have a mysterious clock. We can fight the ancient entity now. And again. And, again, what we'll all we'll do is we'll summon in here. And just, you know, basically do this to him until he's done. Because, easiest way to kill him. And, I mean, like, it's probably a really cheaty way, yes. But... Does it work? Yes. And it gets us Divine Shards. A nice side effect of having Divine Shards also is that we can make a Divine Sword, which does like 26... Actually, no, I think it does like 19 attack damage on 26. 27, I'm thinking a different something also does 26, but... We can kind of get that before we go out of this dimension, which means we just need to get more Corrupted Shards and more Tordite. And Tordite's kind of easy to get, especially that we can fly around. We can just kind of fly into the Nether and search for it in particular. Rupee and Arnold are going to be the holy thing holding us back from getting a Divine sword because we might run out of those first especially because we use a lot of rupee to get this bedrock mall but we can set up something to, like auto mine for us that we don't really have to worry about ever really running out of uh stuff so we can do that with, like computer craft or whatever there are ways of doing that it's just that's going to be annoying to do so and okay we're actually almost already killing this ancient entity it's almost dead um it's almost killed our first Cyclopsian staff, which actually it might not even kill it. Yeah, it didn't even kill it. We got a new sand slash too, and another ancient entity trophy. Now, also on the bright side of this is the fact that so this, that one's placed there. Yeah, maybe we don't want to do that because they're kind of gliding. So we'll put that one there. Cool. Yeah, four more Divine Shards. Um, that one didn't drop a, a lot, but... With Divine Shards, we can now turn them into Divine Rock. And make a uh, portal to the next dimension, which is the Eden. Um, where I need a clock to help us with that. I think it's the Twilight Clock, which is nine clocks. How, how much gold do we have? We have enough gold, I think, for this. It's going to be really annoying do this but okay nine clocks so that's we just need to throw eight more in there and we'll get nine and our gold's probably in shambles but we make a twilight clock and we can make a divine rock or divine stone i believe it is but not divine not this divine stone this this divine stone this divine rock get ten of that and go over here and then, next to our nether portal, we can let it go to Eden, which is the first Divine RPG dimension, other than maybe the Isaka that you can access. Uh, I forgot about the Arcana 2. I'm not sure exactly how easy it is to access that, but they might have been changed in newer versions regardless, so... Boop. And this kind of reason why I wanted to do all my portal stuff in, like, one area. Because, or, in a larger area, because, yep. You know, light this portal up with the Twilight Clock. Oh, you used to at least. Oh yeah, you do still. And boom. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go M. Gonna add a waypoint here. We're gonna call it portal. And okay, cool. So um, what we should do is we should go V, or we should get our, our axe actually. We should also get a new staff just in case. And these guys are hostile. And they, they do have a lot of health. And it's a good thing they're spawning everywhere because these guys will drop us. Uh, oh my god. They are everywhere. Oh, wow. They hurt. Um, And they broke something of mine. Oh, they broke my whole entire armor set. Oh, they're all going into the open world. Wonderful. They're going to kill me when I get out of the portal. Will they drop what is known as... Actually, that's not bad. They didn't even drop the... um. They used to drop Eden Souls. And I don't want to get near, near, near that bow guy. Can I kill him from distance? Oh, nope, he just one-shot me. Then again, I was... I don't have any armor. So I need to get a better armor set um, than Realmite. I just don't know what a good... We, we discussed that good armor set's kind of hard to come by. Other than if we wanted to go with Ruby, and Ruby is... um, We don't have a lot of it right now. Ay caramba, uh, are those guys all out here too? Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, I can do this. We have a sand slash. We have an old one, actually, we can go over there with. And we can just go there with, like, bread. And, yeah, the like, Kraken leggings we're not going to be able to get our hands on. Nor, nor that. Aqu Aqua Strive, um. Yeah, that sucks that we, we can just make another Realmite armor set. That's probably our best bet. We can't even do Elite Realmite yet. I'd like to do Elite Realmite, but we 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 can't afford it, so. Yeah, this kind of sucks that I got one shot, although I couldn't really do much about it because, again, the circumstances basically made it that we were bound to die. So, okay, so let's kill these guys so we can get back to Eden. There we go, he dropped one. Uh, they dropped Eden Souls, which when they drop, Eden Souls are actually really good. Because of the fact that we can use those to kind of like help ourselves get to the next dimension or even make the sword from this dimension. Um, well, we'll see that by going through these dimensions, there is ores in these dimensions as well. That can really help us. Oh my gosh, they hit for so much. And we have no time to regen it. Uh, and let me throw that on there. And uh, explain that. Yeah, there's a really easy way to get to get to the next to make to get to the next dimension. There's a peaceful way to do it and a hostile way to do it. There's a hostile way, which is basically killing all the wildlife, right? So like this Tomo, we kill it, right? And it's gonna drop, and they hit hard too. So like we don't wanna. And I should have won that fight, but for some reason that last hit didn't register, so. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very good at Divine RPG once we start going into the dimensions. I'm not very good at PvP in the first place, so. We got the bunnies. Like, we don't want to hurt the bunnies, but that Tomo's weak. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it. So, like, again, we don't want to necessarily pick fights we can't win. Oh, God, one of those guys. And, uh, yeah, these guys are also... Um... Hostile, so yeah, I don't know why we happen to get and it's the one biome that or the one part of the Eden that gets a bunch of the tall guys that have a lot of health because normally it's just the Catalans and the Tomos, which are the, the, the weaker of the two. Um, yeah, so we want, but we can get these guys, they they um craft into Eden gems, which we can use for. Eden Chunks, which we can use for Eden Shovel, or Eden Phaser, Eden Leggings, or the Eden Blade. So, 24 attack damage, really nice. So I was going to need two chunks, which you're going to need seven gems. You're going to need three souls. So it's two times seven, which is 14 times three, is 14 times three. I don't know what that is, but it's not a very high number. It's uh, 28 plus 14 is like 40-something. So we got 40-something souls. 
will be in the clear. At least to get an Eden, um, an Eden Blade. And once we get an Eden Blade, it'll be even easier to farm this stuff. We can, like, also attack the bunnies. We can also tame the bunnies, but the bunnies are, like, a really easy one to attack because they have, like, no health. But then they turn into Big Boy. And he doesn't have a lot of health, too, but he does a lot of damage. Like, yeah. And it is an achievement to, to attack a bunny, but... If we can manage to kill the big bunnies, I want them back in the overworld. Oh yeah, actually, to our advantage, because the bunnies are rather weak. Like I said, I'm really bad at killing them. Um, and it's a good way to get Eden Souls really easy, quick and early on, but... Again, I'm not very good at Divine RPG, and we don't have very good armor right now. We can also get getting an Eden Armor set. But there's the other way of doing this is actually going around mining the, the ore. Which probably is the safer way. I don't know why we're not doing that. I keep on wanting to attack the mobs, and I can, like, let's do it that way. Because it'll be quicker, and it's really... Why well, it might be quicker in some cases, because the ore is kind of rare. It's not really as worth it. So... Yeah, we can probably find it somewhere. Although, it looks like it's very elusive right now. Yeah, I'm not finding it anywhere. The Eden ore. But, like, it's very apparent. And I'll drop fragments, which are like, a, like souls, but not quite. They can be used the same way as souls can be used to make the chunks. But I'm not seeing any of the ore. Oh wait, there's some ore right there, I think. Actually, there's some right here too. Okay, so whatever the reason for whatever reason on our spawn island, we just weren't seeing a lot of it. But again, like right here, eaten ore. There we go. And right here as well. You know, so. We can get in there. There we go. And we have, what, 16 now? 16 fragments, which we can turn into Eden. What? What are they? We can turn them into Eden gems, which can be turned into Eden chunks. Or slicers. Or bricks, but we're going to want this. Now some big pickaxes and and stuff, so we want, we want two for the sword, and we're probably going to want a lot more for the armor if we want the armor, which is, uh, plus three probably ore drops, and we really should get that. We really should. And it's probably better than our realm might. That's going to be the easiest dimension to do it in. What is Appalachia? Because Appalachia is the next dimension. Appalachia. Uh, the Appalachia armor set does block damage protection. No, I think we're probably going to want the Eden armor set of anything right now, because... Yeah, Twilight Ores are kind of where it's at to, to move forward in this mod. Because there's less fighting, it's much more peaceful. And until we can get like a phaser or like a sword, yeah, we're gonna want to probably do it the ore way. It means a lot of flying and mining for me, but... Oh well, I just have the cookie crumbles. And ow, that Sun Archer does a lot of damage, even with full, full armor on. And that's a quarry over there. I stay away from those guys. Those guys do a ton of damage for this early in the game. Um, and they're they're long range and they fly. So that's what's really bad about them. So we want to stay away from those guys if we can. Eden logs pretty neat though. We can get some nice Eden stuff from them. Nice little wood type from Divine RPG. Yeah, but apparently I didn't realize there's these houses here. And they have oh. Oh. Oh, really? That's how it is? Oh, then we should be going to all these structures. Okay. There's another structure right there. I didn't know that was that was in the mod. Like, structures where you can just get stuff that makes it easier for you. This makes... This changes up my game plan. Because I'm pretty sure by putting on those boots, I'll be, like, 20 times stronger, you know? Okay, back off, back off, back off. Back off, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Sun Archer, leave me alone. Okay, I can't, I can't tell if there's anything here worthwhile or not. And these guys are strong, and I want to have to fight them. Um. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, 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 no. There. Was that quarry? This is how I'm going to solve my issues. Holes. 
That's how I have to. Don't you dare do it, Tomo. See what I'm saying? Okay, not gonna allow us to go around just to see where I can find these guys, but an Eden helmet. But we also found the pickaxe in this one, which is like really nice. So we can replace a little bit of our pickaxe with that. And we got an Eden helmet. Oh my gosh, these guys are, aren't too rare. Uh, I'm gonna like, oh, I missed one over there apparently. Didn't even see on the map. Hopefully this one also has some good stuff in it. Yeah. Problem is when we get these guys like the sun archers outside. But I guess you can probably sneak like this in oh, Eden Phaser. No way. Oh my god, I missed one over there too. Yeah, these guys aren't too too rare. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got a phaser. Although it looks like we're getting terrain problems, kind of where things like kinda of half spawned in. This one may not even have a chest. Yeah, it looks like it spawned like a something all spawned over it. Oh, nope, we only have one down here. <laughs> um, there might be something there, too. Let's look at some sort of structure there. We just gotta stay away from the the guys right now, because the guys right now hurt, like, a lot. But yeah, there might be some something right here. Some sort of something. Or maybe not. Just eating lambs, maybe? That was something at some point. Yeah, but the phase is a really nice weapon because of the fact that we can take it out, right, and it says... Infinite ammo has a good amount of uses remaining, but might be like, well, what's the phaser? Well, it's basically, oh, I didn't realize that was a cooldown. But essentially, it's like a, it does a lot of damage, and it's, again, just basically we shoot it out and be like, boop, and it does a good amount of damage. Uh, I guess the Eden one has a really, really big cooldown on it, because there's ones later in the game that the cooldown's nowhere near as enough, or as big. Oh, because I remember playing with the, uh, the Halite Phaser, which is like, Halite's like the top tier. So, yeah. Okay, that's actually not bad. So we, we should go around, I'm definitely going to go around from structure to structure. Basically barely landing if I can. I'm just getting more of these, you know, of this stuff, because yeah, these guys have good drops, and I see something getting close to me on the map. I'm da it's dangerous. Uh, looks like there's something down there, maybe even, so like we can go down there, see if there's any good loot, if there's any good loot. You know, we take it, and we're kind of basically start getting to like a full set of Eden. Why, without actually having to like, you know, fight things. And if this is going to persist for all the dimensions, it'll be nice. Okay, like, this is like a lone Catalan, which will be like pretty easy to snipe the wind from. Because we can kind of just do that with one of them, but when there's multiple of them, the odds get a little bit dicey. Yeah, so this looks like it's just like a bricks, but be cool. So, cool. I see what this does. So if I take you off, I take you off. Because there's not really a set bonus for, for Realmite. But if I put that on, I think we're actually doing technically less with that on. Does this go up at all? Oh, it goes up by half a bar. Okay, so yeah, this is technically more. Technically ever so much more <laughs> protection. Oh, that's great. Ouch. I'll oh, put that on, I guess. We got apples here too, so that's nice. And with the map, so it looks like there's a something right there, uh, something right there that we haven't been to yet. So it looks like there's like three houses we haven't been to that house either. So we have to go to these houses and just figure out what's in them. If there's anything good in them, we're taking it, and we're gonna add it to our our body. Only problem is that kind of need a. Uh, our chest over right now so we can fly around. So that's the only thing that does cause issues. Uh, I think, yeah, we just want to go to this one because I don't think that one is... Ouch. Sun Archer. Hurts. 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 Like we go down here. Okay. Sadly, nothing in this one that's too worthwhile. What are you? Oh, you're on fire. Oh, you you hurt. Yeah, we're not gonna. Oh, that's a quarry. Come one shot me. Right. We are in like the worst possible position, and there's a sun archer there, which also can do a lot to me right now. Wow, why are there so many sun archers here? This is like terrible. Oh, another Eden shikanks or pickaxe. Nice. Oh god, I gotta go. Yep. 
Why? Why is this dimension so so deadly to me? It's never never this bad normally. I think part of the problem is that these guys that are like kind of like red and skin shouldn't be spawning on the surface. It really should only be the cattle and the tomos and the bunnies, but they they are for some reason. And they never used to. Nor and these sun archers are also new. These divine beauty never used to be this incredibly difficult, but it's just for whatever reason this this new update for it is or as I already got really bad at the game, which is also possible. And I'm thinking that because the boots and the helmet are probably going to be the easiest sets of the armor to find. We're probably not going to find the rest, although we found another... Another set of, uh, an axe now, so I'm not sure. Very perplexed with this. So, I noticed when getting back that eating fragments, we have a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. So that is what we can use to make the chunk, or the gems. So, actually we didn't make all as bad as we thought we did because... Like, I mean, we can also do even sparkles, but that's, like, weird. This means we can make, again, well, we can turn these into the gems, right? And the gems can be used for the chunks. The chunks can be used for stuff like, you know, pickaxe, shovel, we're not going to need, phaser we don't need. Uh, maybe this we want to look into, but we got, actually, a pretty good amount of stuff already. But we can maybe actually get pretty close to making, oh, I'm not sure. What are we going to Six? Yeah, actually, we're a little far off still. One more, we can make half the phaser. We also have other Eden things here, like the Eden souls, which make us more Eden gems, right? Which I think we actually might have enough now for it. And there's also the uh, Eden... What's it called? It's called some sort of ore. Or maybe it was the Gamed Fragments. Because it was, yeah, souls, maybe? I don't know, maybe maybe they, maybe I'm miss maybe I had to drop Eden fragments, but Eden gems now we can make two Eden chunks it looks like, right? If we wanted to. And then with Eden chunks, that can make us an Eden blade, which has twenty four attack damage, which is much more than you know, it's like ten more actually. Which means if we go back there now, we won't be like owning, but we'll be doing much better than we were. So let's let's go back there now with partially Eden armor. And Neen Blade. And see where we're, we're at in the pecking order now. We're doing 10 more damage per hit. So this should theoretically be a little bit more sided to me than it was otherwise. Looks like an old Eden portal right there. From uh, perhaps another group. Yeah, it looks like it's weird. Didn't know we could find those. We're gonna not go to a group of Sun Archers because Sun Archers cause another issue completely. But. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going down easier than you were beforehand. I, it's still... Oh! How? What? How am I supposed to do anything there? Okay. I'm kind of tacking this on here, but... We got a 16k storage disk. I moved everything out of there. 16k is not too bad, because it's like this, right? And this uses gold and fruit processors and basic processors. You might be asking, how do I get stuff? Well, I went searching in between episodes. You see, we have swamps down here now. Uh, this is actually really far south of my base, but we found a swamp biome now, and I can go back home. Cool, so that is where we've gotten to the point of, yeah, where we can get slime balls now. I basically waited one night cycle, and I made a 16k, I chucked it in there. We're doing good. I pulled everything out of here and bring it in there, because, well, as you can see, we got a lot of this. We got a lot of strontianite, strontianate. Sphero-cobalite, cobaltite, rhodochrosite, cerusite, natron, and we're going to be getting more of other stuff as, you know, this process is, and we might see one here randomly. We're getting a lot of Eden armor. Uh, we got an Eden chest plate, and now we're all looking for Eden leggings in terms of Eden armor set, of the Eden armor set, but, yeah, pyro -mor pyromorphite. So, also, if this is done, nope, it's still going. Okay, cool. Um... Something I want to look into is how many diamonds do I have? 19. Because I could really just go mining myself, or I could do a sneaky thing, which is making turtles. And if I make turtles, mining turtles in particular, I basically have them mine for me. I should really, what I should do actually, is I'll throw it on the back burner for just one second. I'm going to get what is known as a external storage and a drawer controller. These are all from different mods, but... You'll, you'll see where this all comes in together. So, drawer controller. Okay, drawer controller 
is gonna need uh drawers, comparators. Can I make comparators? One. Okay, I'm gonna need more redstone torches. It doesn't have redstone. See, this is why I'm doing this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Redstone torches. I need one more technically for the comparator. Um I guess I'll just make a drawer. Let's make it just a normal generic oak drawer. Uh oak. We also are going to end up needing to get other stuff as well, but this is fine for now, generally. Okay, make ourselves a few drawers. Cool, we can make ourselves a drawer controller now. Okay, we're also going to need external storage, which means we're going to need construction core, which means we're going to need two of these. Uh, I think we're going to need a construction and destruction. And we're also going to need a gold one which is the improved processor, which is different from the cores, but cool. So we can do check you in there and we can give you a little bit of a boost, go a little bit faster, throw you in there. And when these guys are done, we can throw that in there because I did take a quick trip to the nether. So that, that, cool. So we want to basically take construction core uh, or destruction core. I got them both mixed up. And we're going to need that. We're going to need cables, which I don't think I've really gone over much yet. But we can make cables. And we can make chests. There we go. And we can make ourselves a one of these. Cool. So what we can do now is if we wanted to, we can go out here. And we can be really sneaky about it. Right here, we can put down our drawer controller. Right, and if I wanted to put down that right there, I already set you to like a hundred, so you're higher than everything else set. Right, and now all I have to do is I can just close this back off. Right, I can do something like that and like that. And because I have all my drawers right here, I can see everything that's in them. Right here, I'm storing everything externally inside my my drawers, so we can actually have we have access to our drawers now through our our system, which is cool. Now. I'm not going to want that to be there for very long because I don't want more space here for drawers and I want to add more drawers eventually, but figure just let's get that done because now that makes making this thing a lot quicker because now I can make a computer. Right, and I'm probably going to want to make a few of these, but they're not too hard to craft, so we do that. I need to have a pickaxe. Make ourselves a mining turtle. And boom. That's cool. Uh, We're going to need chest. Got a double chest, and we're gonna need coal. And okay, we're gonna run you in there, and we're gonna tell you to tunnel for like 20. And it's gonna tunnel for us, right? So yeah, it's gonna mine out, and then boom. So it'll dig out for us. And I'll only do a two tall because we're only two blocks tall. I kind of wish I did three, but it's gonna mine first at least, and I can make it go a lot longer, but I just chose that because. Something easy to demonstrate. Now, meanwhile, we have a lot of monsters down here that we should be taking care of. Because, yeah, when things happen, yes. I also just got an advancement a few seconds ago for looking into the evil eye. I don't know what the evil eye is. But. Okay. Oh, there is a Gru down here. He also drops corrupted shards. A little bit easier to kill than the, um. The whatchamacallit? The corrupted Dramatrix. But, okay, cool. I actually dropped all my two, which is pretty neat. So yeah, you're gonna go. Now the issue is like you don't put down stuff like torches and stuff. So we're gonna have to either make a better program. I saw I found a program that seemed like it did all this stuff, but I guess the program broke and it doesn't work on the versions. <gasps> Ruby. See, like this is like what I want. I want something basically that I can come back to after a while. Like it's not gonna mine this stuff up, right? So I'll mine it myself. But I want to be able to basically let it go, come back, and then mine stuff like that I left behind later, or if it gets something, pick it up. So, like, it's going to get that redstone for me. So, I don't like to worry about that. But, there's times where, you know, like, it's not going to get that redstone up there. So, yeah, I'll let it go. But, I'm very happy with what it's getting me. Um, it should be done pretty soon. We're getting pretty close to my blocks. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Can it? Okay, can break Rupee. And I did give it back. Okay, good. As I say, I had to make sure about that just in case. Because if I can't, it's going to be an issue. 
Come on, we're getting a lot of ruby from this. We should only be seeing it go a few more blocks because it was already pretty close to done. This might be the last blocker. The next one might be the last block. Okay, so you're the last block. So complete this mine and did pretty good. So we'll do this and then the goal would either be have a bunch of these going or just a few of them. And what I would do is I'd be like, okay, turtle. Oh, what's happening? Blindness? So it's somewhere up here. I don't know what it is, but something up here make me blind that spawns down the end of the tunnel. I'm wondering if it's that weird thing between here and the brew. Oh, it definitely has the eye. It's definitely the eye. Okay, and the eye makes me blind. That's what it all is. That's what that little advancement was for gazing into the eye. Cool. Okay, well, anyways. Again, something I like to do is be like, cool, go right across from here. Boom. Uh, chuck you in there for fuel. And say tunnel, like 50. And we'll come back and you'll be done tunneling. Ain't that great. Okay, I'm going to call that it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. I don't know what we're doing about Eden for now because Eden is just terrible and I die there every time I go there. So we'll maybe do something. That I think that uh, in between episodes, I'm going to see if I can install patchouli and get the guidebook on here because Divine Bridge should have a guidebook. But I think it's through patchouli. And why is it when I... That is weird. They they don't render them like that. That's fine. Well, anyways, until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.